Hey guys, this is Jay Stone coming to you once more, doing one more video, wrapping it up for the evening. I want to talk to you about a trend that I'm finding pretty popular lately, um, and it's called niching within a niche. So I've always been a proponent of niching, finding your specialty, finding a very you can you can niche yourself with in in a couple of ways. You can niche yourself with your target market, or you can niche yourself with your service offering. But you can also go a step further nowadays and niche within a niche, which is what I've done. I am a brand coach, which falls along business consultants, brand consultants, marketing consultants, um, and business coaches. It kind of falls in that arena. But in addition to that, I'm also a business lifestyle blogger. So within the arena of being a business person, there's I also have encompassed lifestyle as a part of how I build my brand. So I talk about things, you know, my, my tag is real women, real business, real life. And it's because I have found that my lifestyle really affects how I decided to build my business. And I really could not leave that out when I start talking about business building and brand building. I had to talk about how my lifestyle affects that. So I became a niche within a niche. So um, there are things that I talk about. I talk about things like relationships. So dating as a single business owner. That's uh, one of the things that I talk about. I also talk about things like fashion and style. You know, I try different things. You know, I, I have all the crazy color hairs and all the edgy color lipsticks and makeup. I try all that stuff because um, as a businesswoman, particularly one who builds their brand online, I like to stand out a little bit. So that's kind of um, the whole fashion um, lifestyle part of it. And then I talk about the emotional wellness because I feel like as women, we build brands differently. We do business differently. And our emotional wellness is a big piece of that. So I, again, I, I talk about things that affect me in my whole lifestyle and not only business because again, they're all intertwined. So how does your brand, is it? Is your brand maybe a niche within a niche? Look at it. Um, I think a lot of times we try to um, pigeonhole ourselves. And I, I know for me, I was specifically, I built my brand as one thing. I built my brand as a brand coach. That was it. But when I took a hiatus for three years and then I decided to build my brand as an emotional nudist, um, I wasn't really embracing myself professionally. So I had the problem of embracing myself either personally or professionally um, and keeping them separate and then when I rebranded earlier this year, I just decided, look, it's all one brand. So in effect, I made a niche within a niche. And I think some of you guys are probably all struggling with how do I make all the pieces of my brand fit under one roof? So what I devised is something called the honest model. I'll take you through my process for how I created a brand. Um, a niche within a niche and I created an honest model that worked for me for my lifestyle for what I how I operate and I didn't have to leave anything out and I was able to house it all under the same roof so if you want more information about my process for how to do this and how I can help you niche within a niche or simply just create an honest business model that works for you visit jstone.com forward slash honest model I look forward to hearing from you um, and if you want to email me, you can email me at coachme at jstone.com. Real women, real business, real life. Thanks for joining me.